I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County of Tourism and we're here to talk about an event that's coming up next month on May 2nd. It's a Kentucky Derby party and the event benefits the Animal, Animal Welfare League and to talk about that and the event I have a Emily Miller here who's going to um, tell us about what the Animal Welfare League does, who they are, and then we'll, we'll sit down and talk about the event. Emily's brought a friend with her and it's Lacey. So welcome Emily. Thank you very much for having both of us. You're welcome. So so tell us the Animal Welfare League, you're down on Route 301, right. it used to be Old Animal Control. Exactly. And now you're a different organization running it. So tell us a little bit about it. So Animal Control is now um, a county run, run organization and they're no longer in that building with us and the, contract, the county contracted with us to run the animal services portion for the okay. county. So we are still the open admission county for, or excuse me, the open admission facility for the county. Okay. Um, meaning any stray that animal control picks up, any stray that a citizen picks up, they'll come to us if someone, if a resident of Queen Anne's County can no longer care for their animal and needs to relinquish ownership and they can't find another type of home, they can bring them to us and we will rehome them. Okay. Um, and so that's how dogs like Lacey find their way to us. Who is enjoying herself today <laughs> she for her is. outing. She is. <laughs> and do you do the other stuff there like microchipping? Do you do exactly. all that? Yes, we do the county registrations. They just changed all the rules. So now you, it's a lifetime registration for your cats and dogs and ferrets okay um ferrets ferrets i, I know that. we haven't okay. done them yet <laughs> but you could um, we microchip and we'll register registration is 10 bucks and for an additional five if your pet isn't already microchipped we'll microchip them for you and then you're good with the county for for as long as you live in the county okay um we do all of that That's a there. Bargain. absolutely um any of the ado animals we adopt out they're spay neutered rabies updated vaccinations um heartworm and feline leukemia tested so we try and try and get as much um for you know it, the adoption fee isn't much it's 140 for dogs 70 you know half price for a senior pet and then 35 for cats so, okay and we do all domestic animals so we end up with rats and gerbils which we have right now we've <laughs> done goats we've done pigs we've done a lot of guinea pigs right. so you never know what you'll see in our building at okay any time. <laughs> <laughs> that's what i'm because i'm thinking just cats and dogs no you have it no, all we have it all <laughs> okay well that's wonderful and when are you guys open so we're open tuesday through sunday so the only day we're closed to the public is on mondays okay we're open 11 to 5 every day um and you can come in and you know there's no appointment necessary for anything if you're registering your pet you don't have to make an appointment um just come on by and we have staff and volunteers to show you around and, and help get you all set. And whatever. you guys do have a wish list. I know that's on your we website. Do. And what are a couple things that you guys really could use there? We always could use things like wet cat food. We do peanut butter, um, Kong toys especially because you never know what kind of chewers you get in there. Right. So they're really good. Um, cat toys are really important. Okay. Um, a lot of people will bring us things from their pets if they no longer have a pet and they okay. have, or their cats won't climb up the cat tree and stuff like that. We, um, those are always really useful. We have several community cat rooms, so having things for them to climb on. And, and of enjoy. course, you need volunteers too, right? We always need volunteers. <laughs> That's we number have, one on the wish list. Absolutely. It just, there's no way for us to, to pay enough people to give them all the attention they need. And all we need is people to come and hug on them, right. pet them, and right. brush them, take them for walks. Um, it just, just to make them feel like they're part of a home right. while they're waiting for their real forever home. Okay. Well, thank you for coming in and sharing about the organization. And thank you for bringing Lacey for her, her debut. Absolutely. Um, and we'll, we'll cut and sit down and talk a little bit about the event, which is going to benefit you guys. Sounds so, good. All righty. Yeah. So now that we've had Lacey on TV and everybody can see how cute she is and she's going to get calls for adopting her, um, we're going to talk a little bit about the actual event that's coming up on May 2nd. It's a Kentucky Derby party, um, and there's a lot of things going on at the party, and again, it benefits the Animal Welfare League. So tell us a little bit about what people will expect you know, see and do when they get to the party Absolutely. that day. So it's May 2nd, so mm -hmm. a week from this Saturday. Um, it's at someone's private home on the water so it'll be a beautiful setting and there'll be food and drinks okay. mid juleps and 
non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages um, and a lot of very cool auction items. That's what I was going to say. Exactly. We have this, a sample here. This is one little sample. We have a weekend at the Holiday Inn Express down in Ken Island. We have some wine, a gift certificate to Bridges. Um, very nice. Yeah, no, so we have a lot of very nice items put together from some really very kind community members. And um, along with the silent auction, of course, it's a derby party, so we'll be watching the Kentucky Derby. The county is um, renting us a ver their large outdoor TV. Oh, very nice. So it'll be a very cool venue to watch it. Um, okay. And everybody will have space to see and can and can get into the, the excitement of things. People are already getting their big derby hats. We'll have a <laughs> That's best, what I was going to say. Exactly. A best outfit hats. contest. So it's very, people are getting kind of excited and creative about what they're going to do with their outfits. Okay. And, um... It's so it's May second, and the, it actually starts at three o'clock. Starts at three o'clock. Okay. The race time is six thirty. Okay. Um, and so we'll probably wind down a little bit after that. There'll be some music while people are walking around and bidding on okay. things and eating. Um, all the proceeds go towards our medical fund. Dogs like Lacey, she came in, needed a surgery on her eye to remove a little polyp that was there, right. but just really uncomfortable for her. She also is older needs glucosamine regularly okay so that kind of thing i mean you never know what we have coming right. into our shelter right. so we can always use money in our medical fund so that's basically what the proceeds of this fundraiser will go towards okay and if uh people want tickets they can call the they can Animal absolutely Welfare League. call the shelter um they can come on down at 201 clay drive right there in queenstown okay or you can go on our website and there's a there's a section to buy them online okay and the website is www.awl for animal welfare league qac.org exactly, QAC .org. exactly. Okay, correct yep. okay thank you so much emily for coming in and well, thank course. you for bringing Lacey. and she's under the table now <laughs> so thank you so no, much thank you for having us you're welcome and for this and other events um that go on in the county go to www.visitqueenanns.com <laughs>